My name's Gemma Rolf. Um, I'm a pharmacy technician. I work for the High Street Surgery in Dover. I have a second role that I also work for the PCN as a community education facilitator. So far, I have um, started uh, my career in community pharmacy. So I used to work community pharmacy locally. They um, did some training with them to become a pharmacy uh, assistant. Um, I primarily worked within care homes and MDS units. I was doing dosset boxes for patients and care home patients. I then left that role and became a student pharmacy technician working for East Kent Hospitals. They trained me over a two year period, undertook a BTEC, National Certificate in Pharmacy Services and an MDQ level three. Once I'd been through those courses, I was then appointed as a rotational technician. Um, Part of that role also then developed into undertaking a foundation degree in medicines management at Medway School of Pharmacy. Um, part of that role also included um, undertaking counselling, medicines reconciliation, also a checking technician um, and I undertook a practice supervisor accreditation and an educational supervisor's accreditation which was um, under Health Education England. Once I had been in that role for a number of years, I became a lead ward services pharmacy technician, uh, managing a, a group of technicians on the wards and how they rotated through their wards, their day-to-day -day planning. I then, after 15 years doing that, I left that role to join primary care. I was interested in joining primary care because to me, it was the next step from my perspective. It was something that I could undertake following on from all that training and development and it was something that I could bring into um, primary care and use those skills that I had gained to make a difference to patients and ensure that medication was safe for patients within the primary care setting. So to, to work in primary care um, I did a lot of time working on a ward environment where you look at more dealing with the acute short-term condition the patient was admitted in the hospital for. Um, when they're discharged back into primary care it's more long-term um, chronic conditions that tend to be managed more so within a primary care setting and trying to prevent patients being readmitted into hospital. Um, I felt that working within primary care that there was, a, there was a gap where technicians could potentially make a huge difference to the patient um, within primary care setting and try and prevent that hospital admission happening using the skills that I've learned within secondary care and bringing into primary care. In general practice I come in and I'm primarily initially doing transcribing tasks so I will look at um, information that's been received from secondary care settings, transcribing that information onto patients' records to ensure that they're up to date. Um, I also do medication reviews, so I have telephone and face-to-face -face consultations with patients to discuss their medications, how they're taking their medications, whether there's any, anything issues that they have with their medications, so if they're having difficulties taking their medicines, if there's some potential side effects they may be experiencing, I'm there to support them and discuss with them how we can overcome some of those issues. Um, I also do a lot of auditing related activities. Um, that includes making sure that um, patients who are on things like DMARDs have the appropriate blood tests done. I support patients who are on opiates at reducing their opiate load. I do de-prescribing for patients who are um, likely to be long-term unwell and may not necessarily need those medications anymore. Um, I work with patients obviously to achieve this. I also use a, a program called Eclipse whereby that helps me to identify patients who have out of range blood results and are on certain types of medications where there's a risk that they could potentially be readmitted into hospital. I deal with medication queries. Um, as part of that role, so instead of that um, question going to the doctor, it will come directly to myself and I will deal with that query, whether it be an out of stock item that the patient wants an alternative for, or whether there's an issue with a side effect of that medication that's not part of the medication review, um, I will talk to those patients and try and resolve those queries there as well. So I think from me coming into general practice, I've supported the GPs in reducing some of their workload. So the queries, the medication related questions that now come directly to me, uh, don't go to the GPs. I have the opportunity to refer on to the GP should I not be able to answer that query. Um, so potentially me and the GPs will support each other um, and we will hopefully be able to resolve that, that issue for that patient going forward. For the patients, I'm, I'm there to 
to, to sort of have time to listen to them that potentially maybe the GPs don't always have the time to do. The GPs are obviously then freed up to do more complex um, cases that, that I probably am not going to be able to, to resolve. Um, for the patients again, yes, it's it's a it's almost like a counselling service. It's an option for me to, to go through things with them to follow them up. So if, if for example a patient is doing a reduction on a, a medication, whether it be an opiate or um, a gabapentinoid, um, I will liaise with them on a regular basis and talk to them about some of the issues that they potentially may have, support them in that reduction to bring them down to a, a safe level. Okay, so my Seth role as a community education facilitator, I'm the multi professional lead. Um, I help and support, support the training and development and education of nurses and multi-professionals within the Dover Town PCN. Um, currently at the moment we are only having nurses within that remit because we don't have any other professionals that are alongside that remit, including nurses, dietitians, physios. Um, they, will, they have a fund um, that is available to them and they have an opportunity to use that fund for education, training and development. And my role as the CEF is to facilitate um, the use of that fund and develop them going forward to make sure they're up to date, to ensure that also that there is a good succession planning within the PCN so that as people potentially leave or move up the ranks, they've got option opportunities for people coming into the ranks. So there's opportunities for healthcare assistants to become nursing associates, nursing associates to become nurses, so that we have a proper development plan in place. Um, and I work with the nurses currently to do that. So from a SEF perspective, it's, it, it's a lot of time management from that perspective. Um, you do need to have a background in an education um, and an understanding of education and how education works. There is a lot of support from the training hub. Um, the training hub provide a huge amount of, of support to us um, as SEFs to ensure that there's training available. We support each other as SEFs, there are multiple SEFs in different PCNs. We have a GP lead SEF and we have two admin SEFs who are just coming into post now. Um, and we all support each other as a SEF team um, to ensure that education and training is available to um, multi-professionals across the PCN. I think um, pharmacy in um, general practice and primary care has something that's new, something that there's not a lot of us about at the moment. PCNs are currently trying to take in pharmacy technicians as part of their R's roles. I'm not employed by the PCNs, so I'm employed by the surgery, um, which makes me slightly different. <laughs> um, so it's going forward into the future. Um, there's always opportunities for development. Pharmacy, medicine is an ever-changing program. There's always something new going on. I personally, for my self-development, if anything ever like, um, anything came up potentially like technician prescribing, I'd be quite interested in doing that because I think that would enable my role to be developed further um, to support the GPs without having to, not prescribe so without having to ask the GPs to prescribe something or if it's okay for me to prescribe something in the future. Um, that is something I hope will be developed in the future and I would support that. But everything is ever changing for pharmacy, everything is ever, there's always new drugs, there's always new medicines, there's always something to learn. Um, and I think the role has changed since I started generally anyway. And with general practice and primary care, so getting an understanding of what technicians to do and how technicians can support, um, that role will probably ever continue to develop.